So I'm saying a lot of things tonight that if you have ears to hear, those words will take you to a new reality, a new place, a different place. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure that you subscribe. If this is not your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Today, I'm going to be talking about the new reality that people who worship the Holy Ghost and walk with him live in. They enter into it and they live in it. If I can, I will speak words to you this evening that will walk you through that door and into that new reality. It's a learned thing. You can learn how to do this. Not only can you know the Holy Ghost more and more, you can learn how to live with Him and walk with Him in the earth. Doesn't that make sense? Stick around here long enough. I will show you emphatically through the word through the scriptures that the Holy Ghost is God and that he's the only part of the Godhead who's in the earth today and not only is it okay to worship him but you should worship him God is a spirit they that worship him John 4 24 says there are enormous Say enormous enormous benefits in doing that in knowing him in walking with him and in worshiping him this is wildly different than what most people say most people do and believe it's wildly different than what I used to believe and do you become different worshiping him makes you different I, I often ask this to some of our people and I say well what does it make you well it makes you a Holy Ghost worshiper well that's something you weren't before it has made you something new it's made you something different therefore you will live in a different reality than people who don't worship him does this make sense you become different you become changed you become altered your reality becomes altered you don't believe like they do you believe something different than what they're believing and doing in fact the things I'm just throwing some stuff out here the things that they do just don't look right or sound right to you anymore when you enter into this when you enter into worshiping the Holy Ghost and you enter this new reality that I'm talking about tonight then you go and present yourself with the things that they're doing and saying something just doesn't look right and doesn't sound right anymore many of you can testify to this fact they may call you crazy you've lost your mind they may call you a heretic they may call you that you're in a cult I've been called these things a heretic or a cult master they might think you're on something we're with something we're with someone we're with the Holy Ghost they'll think you're brainwashed first Peter 4 verse 12 beloved think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you and we read down look down at verse 14 I'll tell you some of the stuff going on here if you be reproached for the name of Christ happy are you for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you on their part he's evil spoken of but on your part he's glorified so he's basically talking about persecution here people not liking what you're believing people disagreeing with you are you here think it not strange concerning this the persecution of people calling you something that you're not calling you crazy you're on something you're a heretic you're in a cult think it not strange as though some strange thing happened to you it's no strange thing that happened to you what happened to you was Holy Ghost 
holy ghost happened to you you happen to just be believing something that they don't believe and now you're being transformed in a way that they can't be transformed and wouldn't understand so it's not a strange thing they're calling it a strange thing they're trying to get you to think that it's some strange thing when it's not some strange thing he's the Holy Ghost he's the Living God so it's not some strange thing that they would have you believe are you hearing this think not that so if I'm if I'm not gonna think that that it's a strange thing I'm gonna be thinking that it is a normal thing this is reality this is where we should be so the fact is you believe something differently you be you believe something different than they do in fact you believe something that they don't you think something different you perceive life in a way that they don't and can't because your reality now has been changed it's a new reality it's different it's been altered Am I getting this across your belief takes you to the place they can't go so if you're believing something different about the Holy Ghost you can go there if they don't believe that about the Holy Ghost obviously they can't go there so it's your belief that takes you to the place to that reality that they can't go and live in let's go to John chapter 4 talking about living in a new reality John chapter 4 let's look at verse 31 and this is where you know the disciples had gone off to find some food and they came back and he was talking to the woman at the well verse 31 and in the meanwhile his disciples prayed him saying master eat that's when they came back they had food but he said unto them I have meat to eat that you know not of other translations say you know nothing about I have something that you know nothing about I have a sustenance I have a situation that you know nothing about and then they go on and therefore his disciples asked one another has has somebody brought him something to eat I mean they completely missed it so there's a sustenance or a substance that most people know nothing about which means they don't live in that reality Jesus was living in a reality walking with the Holy Ghost that they knew nothing about that's my point so people might think you're crazy people think I'm crazy but I'm just living in and by a new reality I'm seeing something experiencing something and walking in something that they know nothing about isn't this fun all right go to first Corinthians chapter 2 let's look at verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God well how are we gonna know the things you might say that are freely given to us of God but by the Spirit of God so the more we know the Spirit of God and walk with the Spirit of God we will know the things of God the things that he has and we can know things that he has and live in a reality with him that other people have nothing have no idea what's going on are you here verse 14 but the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God for their foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they're spiritually discerned so he can't have anything to do with it if he doesn't believe he doesn't receive the word he can't go there and it'll just seem like foolishness to him you will seem foolish to him so the match the natural man in his natural mind receives not the things so when Jesus said he had things they knew not of and they were in their natural mind saying what he got some food somewhere they couldn't get it anyway so John chapter 6 63 it is the spirit that quickens or makes alive the flesh profits nothing the words say the words the words I speak 
so he's speaking words the words i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life the words that he speaks are spirit say the words he speaks our spirit so he's speaking spirit words and it goes down to verse verse uh, 64 but there are some of you that believe not so I already said it's the belief in the spirit words that takes you to the new reality and if you don't believe in those words you can't go there and those would be the natural people there were some that believed not all right so it's your belief that takes you to a place that they can't go there's it's your belief that takes you to the new reality that you can live in the words I speak to you now I'm not Jesus I never said I was Jesus I remember preaching this one time somebody got offended and left the church because he said I was saying I was Jesus I'm not saying I'm Jesus that's goofy but what I'm saying is when I speak by the Spirit of God and I say the things that he told me to say are you hearing this then the words I speak are spirit and they have life in them so I'm saying a lot of things tonight that if you have ears to hear those words will take you to a new reality a new place a different place are you getting this the words I speak are spirit and life they take you to a new place they take you to a new reality a new belief system will come upon you and you'll be able to enter into it isn't this good so I live in this new reality and I speak from this new place this new reality and if you can hear it you can enter in and I bring people into it through words and through belief brother sounds like you're brainwashing people well we do need our minds renewed we need them our minds transformed to think in this new way say think in this new way brainwashed you say eh? go to um, Romans this is my favorite go to brainwashing scripture Romans chapter 12 verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed so we're talking about being changed and living in a new reality if you're gonna be in that new reality you have to be changed and transformed into it be transformed by the renewing of your mind well your mind needs to be washed of the old thinking well, being washed brain washed is good if your brain isn't washed you have a dirty mind you shouldn't have a dirty mind you should have a clean mind other translations say it this way change the way you think the things I'm saying tonight if you receive it will change the way you think and if you're thinking differently that means you got the old washed away and now you think differently you have new thinking new believing another way they translate it is reconditioning your mind should be reconditioned that sounds more cult like to me than even brainwashing brain reconditioning my brain has been reconditioned reconditioned to what this new reality that I walk in the number one thing it means is new new thinking well this is new some people would say well this is new now this is gonna blow a lot of people's hair back let's enter into the simple reality that Jesus isn't here and he sent another now we're talking about a new reality living in a new reality let's enter into the simple reality that Jesus isn't here and he sent another I'm telling you that is a that is a huge change for a lot of people to even think about John chapter 16 and verse 7 
the words of Jesus nevertheless I tell you the truth it is expedient for you that I go away who's saying this Jesus is saying this we're entering into the simple truth that Jesus isn't here in our day and age he's at the right hand of the Father and he sent another in the earth to be with you that's a new reality did Jesus go away yes he did if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you but if I depart I will send him unto you meaning he had to have been departed to send him he didn't bring him he sent him from where he was so the number one proof that Jesus is not here is that the Holy Ghost was sent from him to be with us in the earth if the Holy Ghost is here with us Jesus is not here right now and Jesus hasn't returned simple reality that we have to begin living in I don't like that reality then you want to live in religious fiction John chapter 14 verse 16 I will pray the Father and he will give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever even the spirit of truth so Jesus was there he sent the another are you getting this in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 9 while they beheld he was taken up who was taken up Jesus the real Jesus the raised from the dead Jesus was taken up say was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight and verse 10 while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel which also said you men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same Jesus this same Jesus which was taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you've seen him go into heaven has that happened no that has not happened it will happen it has not happened the same Jesus the real Jesus is still in heaven and then we know Acts chapter 2 he sent the Holy Ghost right so who's in the earth today Jesus no Jesus is in heaven at the Father's right hand still there will return who's in the earth the Holy Ghost he is God he's in the earth he's with us he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth with us today that's a new reality to a lot of people it shouldn't be but it is and it's our first step to living in this new reality and knowing him as God go to we'll look at one more thing here Acts chapter 7 Acts chapter 7 verse 55 but he Stephen being full of the Holy Ghost where was Stephen at this time he was on the earth preaching and he was full of the Holy Ghost we know the Holy Ghost is a person he was there on the day of Pentecost received the Holy Ghost right he was full of the Holy Ghost looked up steadfastly into heaven so he had an open vision and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God and said behold I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God is this in your Bible where was the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost was with Stephen say the Holy Ghost was with Stephen say the Holy Ghost was with Stephen say the Holy Ghost was with Stephen so the Holy Ghost was with Stephen you see how it says the Holy Ghost was with Stephen and then Stephen looked up into heaven he could see into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus did he know Jesus he was one of the ones who saw the real Jesus go up he saw him standing at the right hand of God where was Jesus at the right hand of God who was with Stephen the Holy Ghost what reality do you suppose Stephen lived in the reality that he was with the Holy Ghost or the Holy Ghost was with him see Stephen was in the earth at that time and the Holy Ghost was in in the earth at that time 
are you here are you in the earth at this time is the Holy Ghost in the earth at this time then your new reality in walking with God would be to walk with God the Holy Ghost while you're in the earth are you getting this and I said we want to start with the simple reality that Jesus is not here but he sent another he sent the Holy Ghost all right is that any fun yet my whole new reality is wrapped up in that my whole reality in the earth my life in the earth is wrapped up in that fact that the Holy Ghost is in the earth and I'm in the earth and I walk with him and Jesus will return which means if he will return it means he hasn't returned which means he's not here I'm walking with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today so when I say I'll say this often I'll say Holy Ghost only that's what I mean I mean it's only you and the Holy Ghost get that straight get it in your head get it in your spirit get it in wherever you got to get it that it's you and the Holy Ghost it's the Holy Ghost and you when you wake up in the morning it's you and the Holy Ghost so your reality is wrapped up in you walking with the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today I think you're getting this so it's me and the Holy Ghost in the earth you get it I'm your temple when I wake up in the morning hey it's me and it's you Holy Ghost I'm your temple and I've been over this hundreds of times showing that what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost right it's you and the Holy Ghost say it's me and the Holy Ghost inside the parameters of this Holy Ghost only within the confine and in the parameters of this you in the earth the Holy Ghost in the earth you walking with the Holy Ghost in the earth you can begin to choose and build the reality that you walk in based on his word well how do you do it well ha, ha, how do you do it how do we walk with the Holy Ghost by saying his words by speaking in agreement with his words and as I begin to speak listen as I begin to speak in agreement with the living God's word he begins to do those things for me and that's the reality that I begin walking in that people other people who aren't doing that have no idea it's the reality that you live in reality your reality constrains you to your money and your job and people and situations in the economy but that's not the reality you live in you live in a completely different reality based on the Holy Ghost and his words he's spoken words already but we get to speak in agreement with his words and when we do we're framing the reality that we live in and it's a new reality second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 24 all the promises of God the Holy Ghost in him are yea and in him amen under the glory of God by us this glorifies God when his promises come to pass but he said already said all the promises of God he's already said yes and we need to say amen which means so be it unto me so he's not holding back any of the promises of God he's already said yes to it we simply need to learn how to walk with him in it in a new reality listen there is a new reality contained in every promise of God say there is a new reality contained in every promise of God how about youth renewal Psalms 103 5 he renews your youth is that a promise of God yes has he already said yes to it yes we have to say amen so be it unto me 
we enter into youth renewal through the vehicle of that word which is spirit and life are you getting some of this how about being made rich proverbs 10 22 says the blessing of the lord makes rich and adds no sorrow with it there's a new reality contained for you in every one of those promises you can live in that promise of youth renewal you can live in that promise of being made rich how how you say how do we walk with the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today by speaking in agreement with his word those are just two words that you can speak in agreement with and enter into the new reality that he's already provided for you are you getting this some of these things you might have to hear more than once so it can begin dawning on your spirit you need a new reality I can tell you need a new reality remember spirit words and speaking his spirit words do you have a problem with that you shouldn't your mind should be renewed enough by now when I say when I'm speaking his words I'm speaking spirit words what spirit words his words those spirit and life they will transport you into the new reality that is actually in those words themselves is this making sense the words are what take you there they transport you to the new reality that is themselves some of you have never said a scripture long enough to have it bring itself to pass and it's quite sad I preached a message called the faith feedback loop that walks you through it some of you have never said a scripture say a scripture no say a scripture no say a scripture some of you have never said a scripture or a promise long enough for it to bring itself to pass and for you to enter into the reality of that scripture in your life or you living in the reality of that scripture you need to say my God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus when I say my God supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus what's going on I'm speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today and there's enough power there's enough faith there's enough reality in that verse of Scripture to bring itself to pass in your life but you have to say it you have to speak in agreement and you haven't done it long enough or enough to have it come to pass it the word itself goes out and affects a change and becomes your new reality when that happens you live in my God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 so shall my word that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it so every word of God if God said that he will heal you if God said that he will prosper you if God said that he will renew your youth it will not return to him void or without producing it that it said well what do you mean return to him how do you think you return a word to God and who is God in the earth today this all of this stuff goes together this is the new reality that you live in that they are not when I'm returning his word I'm saying that word my God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus by Jesus stripes I was healed sickness cannot stay in my body the blessing of the Lord it makes rich he adds no sorrow with it I'm returning his word to him and it won't return to him void meaning there's power in it to bring itself to pass what do you mean bring itself it will make 
itself come to pass in my life and it becomes my new reality so every word of God has the ability within itself to bring itself to pass you need to return it and return it and return it until it produces itself in your life and some of you haven't done it enough to have that happen once you've had that happen you'll never be the same you'll live in a different reality than other people who've never done that does that make sense and all of a sudden as you're saying the word my God supplies all my needs are you here as you're saying the word it doesn't really matter what promise it is as you're saying that word and you keep saying that word and you keep saying that word you know I recommend that you sit down you can do this take a verse of scripture and personalize it my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus sit down in a chair and say that scripture return it to the Holy Ghost say it for five minutes straight what do you mean say it for five minutes five minutes straight I mean say that verse of scripture and then 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 say that verse of scripture do it for five minutes and then the next day do it again for five minutes you're beginning to build that house of reality that you will enter into and it will enter into your affairs are you getting this and once that happens at some point all of a sudden that verse of Scripture will dawn on you you will see yourself in it and when you see yourself in it that is your new reality that's who you are you will see yourself as a wealthy person you might not have saw it have seen it before but now you're seeing yourself in that verse of Scripture you're entering into it you're now a wealthy person what if I'm confessing a healing verse a healing verse a healing verse and I've increased it to 15 minutes a day just that one healing verse healing verse healing verse healing verse at some point that will dawn on your spirit that you are in that healing verse and and you are a healed person you are a youth renewed person your reality has changed because you're walking with the Holy Ghost and returning his word I hope you're getting this you're now living in a new reality as a wealthy person you're now living in a new reality with the Holy Ghost as a healed person you're now living in a new reality as a younger person you become that word that word becomes you you enter into the reality of it and it's new it's not what you were before it's the new you say it's the new me where did it come from Holy Ghost remember he the verses of Scripture are breathed by the Holy Ghost so he breathed it first remember he sent his word and it won't return to him void who's who you were you're returning it to him the one who sent it who's the him that sent it the Holy Ghost holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so your new reality it's you walking with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and the words that you speak in agreement with him walking with him because that's how you walk with him becomes your new reality we live in a new reality that other people know nothing about let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that you're blessing these people and as they begin Holy to speak Ghost in agreement God with your word and today. worship you as God in the earth today great Holy things Ghost will begin to happen the word today. will become alive begin to take over Holy portions Ghost of your life and things that were problems today. before will just disappear Holy and be forgotten the, the new things today. shall present themselves to you and you'll be able to the step into this in and you'll become brand Jesus new people will say where did you come from and you'll say I came from the new Holy reality Ghost, God the walking earth today. with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today we thank you for it Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people in Jesus name 
Amen. <laughs>